Hello there, Aaron Air here, and today we are going to review Mythia. We are starting with Telephos, quite uh, well around hero, nice attack defense, and his abilities can boost his attack, so he is able to deal a lot of damage against heroes. Also, he can make himself more tanky or use the healing on himself. Next abilities are for routing enemy units around him or routing one single unit instead. So this hero is quite uh, all around good for damage and also defense. Now let's go and review his uh, roster. We are starting with Anatolian Youths, early game frontline which is only for Lycia, but with this extended factions mod we have access to them as well. They are not expendable, uh, but they are very cheap and quite okay for tanking in early game. Next we have Mission Riders. They are something like the militia, but quite good at dealing damage. They are very fragile and weak, uh, but they are expendable and you can use them to tr deal some damage and mess around. For even more damage, I recommend using Mountaineers. These chargers from Trays are quite good, have Strider which helps them be fast in any te terrain and with their charge and ok stats they will help you in early game a lot. Spears! For frontline we got Mission Spearman. This is just like standard Spearman but it is expendable because they have slightly lower defense. So you will not care that much why are they losing because you can bring more of them or maybe bringing more units next we have uh, another expendable unit mission tribesmen they are sword they are not yet flankers even though you can use them for flanking because of their speed you can use them as frontline but again uh, they all are quite weak, but you will be using them in big numbers. For missiles, we will be there soon, but before missiles, we have access to Phrygian X-Men from the Watchtower building. So this uh, unit is accessible to Paris and it is standard frontline kill line usually it is not doing well but if you need uh, some better fodder you can use these and now the missiles as uh, Lycia or Dardania or other factions these have also light skirmishers they have quite a good range for javelins and speed uh, but again, they are not gonna hold their ground for long. Uh, My Miss Mycia has also access to the slingers. These slings are ex also expendable, relatively weak and just have a little less ammunition than Achaean slings. So in early game, again, you want big numbers and you can be fine with this expendable but their base 45 morale is quite better than Achaean Slingers Honor and duty. another standard unit we have uh, Thracian Hunters this unit is from Trace um, they have pretty good standard range and I, I think I can recommend this in your battles um, quite cheap, quite good range damage, nothing could go wrong. Then we have uh, 
heavy Anatolian skirmishers. These guys are also from Watchtower and uh, they deal a lot of damage, they have shield, but you need to consider their slow speed. Usually in battles people are not using them because they are too slow for skirmishing, but if you manage to bring them close enough, they will deal tons of damage with their javelins. So be careful if you want to use them, and if you are successful with them, it will you will melt enemies very quickly. Now let's move to the mid-game units. So we got another Thracian unit. Thracian spearmen are standard frontline, slightly weaker than average. And that's why we are going to use our special Mycian spearmen. Uh, they are slightly more offensive. Uh, let me compare that. I will just ho hover over. And you see that they might have less defense, but they have way more attack and better weapon. So this is your of more offensive front line. Messia is not about holding ground and waiting. Next we have the Vision Warriors, which are also an, a good front line or maybe a kill line. They have even less uh, defense, uh, but their very strong weapon makes up for their lack of attack defense. And with flanking defense improved, you can have a messy battles with these guys and win very well. So they will pierce through enemies very nicely. If you want a slightly faster flanker, we can go with Mission Swordsman. For a medium unit, they have pretty good speed and okay weapon. You are definitely want to use their flanking attack. So this will be your relatively fast flankers. For flanking and charging, you want to use uh, Phrygian Warriors. Uh, this is a unit from Paris. It's quite squishy or relatively weak, but you need to really use their charging bonus and not, uh, not leave them in uh, duels for too long. Uh, they, you have to use the fear ability to route enemies. So <clears throat> I highly recommend using these in reserves or flanks and don't yolo charge in the beginning. These guys are good, maybe squishy, not so good duelist, but if you charge nicely you can uh, you can turn battle quickly. Then for missiles we got the Mission Armor Slingers. Uh, they are similar to the Echian slings, good damage and excellent range. Uh, their armor and morale is as it should be. Uh, mostly this faction was, uh, had, has been reworked in their armor and morale. So now you can expect a fair good performance on all these units. And in mid game we got access to Anatolian Chariots, another solid uh, unit. This one is better than uh, a Kian uh, Chariot. So you are most likely to be having uh, an edge over a Kian factions. Now let's move to the late game units. We are starting with the Renault Phrygian X-Men. Uh, these are also from Paris roster and um, they have quite big stats and I do not recommend using them. Even Paris don't use them because they are quite bad and they really need to use their javelins and they need to go against swords to be somewhat viable. Instead I present you much better uh, axe unit, Mycian nobles. 
they are more expensive but they are much better frontline unit and they are able to cut through swords and spears very nicely with their flank defense improved and giving more morale to their friends you can have these as your solid frontline Next to support this front line we have the Messian Swordmasters. Uh, you, must, you will likely use them on the edges of your front line because they have much higher attack and can utilize the flanking attack improved. So you are going to win sides of your flanks nicely. Be aware that they are slow because they have a lot of armor. And because of their morale, you are not going to lose them. For missiles, we got long range upgrade Messian Elite Slingers. They have 190 range, which is top tier. 55 the missile damage is also top tier. They have decent armor and shield. They will trade very well against many missiles, so you can uh, dominate battles and miss skirmishes quite easily. You can have them standing holding the ground and you will be doing very well. And for the chariot, we got heavy Trojan chariots. They are better than the Achaean reinforced heavy chariots. so. You are going to have an advantage here as well. So, let's have a look how we would play the Mycia. Um, Mycia is quite easy. You just use your Mycian Nobles or your Axe Frontline to be doing most of the work. On the sides, you can decide to help them win fights thanks to the flankers and you can safely have your slings behind you can have the card mod also on these guys and if you really want on or need uh, chariots you can use and use them uh, in battles you don't need them you will be dealing a lot of damage also Mycia has quite interesting uh, roster for the mid game you have quite a number of front lines i would recommend having spears on the center access on the sides and flanking with swords and uh, access as well these are very f these are fast you can use them you don't have to you can still have very solid uh, slinger or missile formation so you can play versatility you got solid front line you are go you have some flankers and more importantly you are going to pierce damage you, you are go yes you are going to pierce armor and play quite easily so that would be it and see you later